Hello and welcome back. Today on this very high resolution day, we're going to be driving all these cars. And my graphics card is screaming at me today. But it's not because of the cars, no. It's because today we're going to be answering a very important question that I just now decided to ask. And that is how many gates are too many gates? We're just going to drive through as many as we can. And then if it's not enough, we're going to crash through two brick walls at the end as well. We're also going to be chased by some very heavy cars that are in all of my other car videos at this point with some very specific timing. We're going to have one start over there and then come drifting in and then we're going to have another one chasing us from behind. But it's more so about the gates and seeing how many gates are too many gates. So let's get started with whatever this is. Well, all right, we have here the first car. This, as seen in other videos, is kind of like the baseline car that I usually use to base things off of. Uh, it's one of the more realistic ones, if I do say so myself. It doesn't use any modded parts or anything. It's just run-of-the-mill, big wheel in back, small wheel in front, big engine kind of muscly car thing. Uh, and <laughs> and uh, hopefully we do a, a better job than this. Next up, we have the Blue Buck that has some things done to it. It has side pipe exhaust, it has an unnecessary cowl induction hood for its carburetor. It, uh, big tire, very big tire. It's a very heavy, very floaty kind of boat looking car. Is it going to turn into the shrub again? I do not know, but, uh, it's called the Bruiser, and it's blue. And we're going to drive it. And it crashed again. <laughs> My god. Alrighty, next up we have the Barstow, but now it's called the Silver Bullet. It looks like this, it's gray, it's black, it has big tire, bigger tire, and nitros, big engine, and it stopped for some reason. Like, what the hell are you doing? Goodbye. <laughs> 
Let's let's do this one. All right, next up we have another bar stove. This one is called Speedy. Again, Big Speedy was a little bit too big. We used to have Big Speedy, but now this one's just Speedy. We had to mix and match the wheels to get the right amount of grip, uh, and it still barely wants to cling on to the road. It has nitros, a supercharger, a turbocharger, biggest engine that you could possibly get. It's, it's a large boy, and we're gonna go very fast. <laughs> All right, of course we have to include the Firehawk. This gigantic yacht-sized monstrosity with an airplane engine in it has been modified to have twin turbos. It's turning off the road again. I don't know why they keep messing up on these roads, but we're gonna do this one. It has a lot of wheels in the front to steer, so it might do a little bit better when it's ramming through all those steel posts, but we shall see.
right, we have here the burn side, or at least it was a burn side. It might have also even been a taxi, but now it's mint colored for some reason. Uh, it has softer suspension in the back to dig into the uh, ground a little bit more on the launches. It has all the boost, all the engine, you know how it is. Uh, it'll get you where you need to go. If you want to get somewhere, use this taxi company over at Rapid Taxi. But anyway, <laughs> we're just gonna drive through a million gates instead. Alright, we have here the Soliad Sunville. This, uh, I think, was based off of a Moonhawk. It is a frame extension muscle car. Uh, it has shiny chrome wheels that add 50 horsepower each. It's insane, and it has side pipe exhausts. Stage 4, supercharger, and this configuration is called the Stag. It's about to crash, and there it goes, just like the rest of them. Uh, I think this might be the second to last car. Let me make you a little bit more quiet, and then, uh, and then that'll be it. So, uh, hope you enjoy. Well, all right, we have here the final car of the video. This, uh, well, this was a Scintilla, the supercar that was just added to the game. But uh, I've done things to it. This is called the ERR, the ER, and I'm going to be just showcasing it real quick because I don't think that the uh, computer can do it justice, and I don't think that I'm going to get up to the top speed driving through those gates over there. This has a 5.5 liter V8 with a Stage 3 supercharger slapped onto it, as well as quad turbos, each of which are 82 millimeters in diameter. It also has two 10 pound bottles of nitros, giving it a 280 shot size. So let's, oh God, let's see how this does. Take a look at this real quick here.
Well, all right, thank you so much for watching. I'm pretty sure that was everything I had in mind for the video today. Next time, we're going to take the same cars down to the West Coast map for some good old-fashioned sprint crashing. We're going to be starting in the dockyards, running away from automation cars, all the way to the kind of suburb slash industrial area. There's going to be a lot of fast things that I have to weave in and out of in traffic. We're going to make some questionable decisions and crash a bunch of times. I hope you enjoyed the crashes from this episode. I had a lot of fun making it. Uh, and hopefully we get to see some more of this stuff. It's just going to be chaos, and I'm all here for it. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.